well, it's always uh, an amazing thing because I know how many artists there are around the world doing amazing things and especially at a time like when we were putting in our applications I just know how competitive and difficult it is with um, any form of competition because you know it's such a struggle for artists to get funding at any point in time and so especially during the pandemic when people are working at home and working online it makes it even more difficult so it's just super um, surprising and I was really pleased to get shortlisted. Well, it was, a, it was a strange journey, but the thing I was really looking forward to most and that ended up happening was just being able to meet um, artists from, you know, broadly from Asia, like who are working all around the world and just, you know, talking about our projects. It's, uh, it's always so challenging to talk about a project before it's uh, actually been done, because I think for myself, I find it really hard to describe in words a kind of project especially an audiovisual project or a media arts project that doesn't exist yet because so many of the ideas and the actual reality of an, an artwork comes about from the process from the process of making it so somehow the the feeling at the beginning of the journey which is you know like any journey full of uncertainty and randomness um, ends up being honed down and also the, the dialogue I felt that I had with a lot of the other artists and a lot of um, the kind of guests during the I-Beam part of the residency really helped shape my ideas. My work Black Cloud, it's a kind of science fiction story. It's set in a fictional research city, a smart city called Sim Beijing, which is built to test self-driving cars. And I imagine a kind of future where the city has uh, become a ghost town. So the idea is that it's this future technological smart city brought together with this idea of a future ruin or a future speculation that we obviously know from old cities. So it's these two timescales, like the, the future, but what if the future was the past? So it's like looking back at this future that will become the past. So using this idea of science fiction but to actually make it a much more personal and uh, psychological story because the project Black Cloud it's about this uh, city smart city AI that is quite lonely because the city has become empty and it's become a ghost town so that they have this kind of existential question of like what what do I do with my life now that nobody's around for me uh, to watch well you know, Black Cloud is part of an ongoing exploration of this, you know, the, f the future of the past, basically. This idea that science fiction isn't just a, a kind of form of like entertainment or fantasy, but it's really a way to create a, a social or urban commentary. And so Black Cloud is, is thinking about... Um, so Black Cloud is thinking about the future of cityscapes and I'm going to keep on developing this you know fictional city of Sim Beijing to be other projects or may which might be other films or video games or soundtracks and you know that's kind of part of my work bringing together the kind of CGI video game world building and um, film narrative and electronic music soundtracks so I guess I'll continue doing that thank you